Oh yeah. We're going off the deep end here. Going off the deep end. Like a mad dog barking at something in the woods. Um, building a scale CCO1. We're kind of reviving, not building, sort of like reassembling and reviving a Tamaya, Tamaya CCO1 Bronco kit. This is going to be a present for my daughter. Give Mountain Girl her very own vehicle to go exploring with. Just way cool. Got the uh, Terra Claw, the Novak Terra Claw. Got the Rooster Crawler ESC. Appears to be pretty well waterproofed or at least splash proofed. Right. Got the zippies. I could dip them, get them waterproof. Got the CPE servo to go in there. I got some Titus, some Proline Titus bead locks, and some rock stoppers. 1.9 rock stoppers coming. I think they'll fit. You see, there's plenty of room on the body post, so if you jack the body way up, there's a lot of wheel well there. So I think that'll work. I don't think steering angle will be a problem because this thing has no steering angle. <laughs> That's it. That's it for steering angle. We're not going to have to worry too much about tire rub. The tires will never get to move that far. That's okay. It's just going to be fun to look at, right? So there it is. The pink Bronco for Mountain Girl. Shh, don't tell her. The birthday's in about a week. I gotta try and get everything together in that time. So this is the basic guts of it. You get the ESC, you get the motor, you get the batteries. I've already got a servo, got tires and wheels coming. As far as I know, should be able to get this thing rolling down the road. It looks like it's complete. Doesn't appear to be broken or missing anything. Obviously I gotta figure some stuff out, try and figure out how things work. I don't know how things work. I don't know how any of this stuff works. I get a feeling that the servo goes over there somehow. I have, I have no idea. Does the servo go in between here and here, I guess? And then goes back and forth like this, I guess. I really don't know, man. I do know you got a big cavity in the front. Looks like maybe you could stuff another battery up under the trunk. Seems possible. I don't know, maybe. Stick a battery in the trunk. There's a slot for the battery over here, which is pretty convenient. There's two batteries. I guess you could run them parallel. Takes standard 12 millimeter hexes. So, kind of fun. It's got. Uh, Independent suspension in the front, if you can call it that. Got that whole about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. What is that? Uh, maybe three quarters of an inch of travel up and down. Not really sure what the limits of this are. What what you can maybe put a bigger shock on? I don't know. I don't know if it would be necessary to put a bigger shock on. Maybe for scale, the scale look. This might be good enough, you know. It's got these uh, plastic links that are nice and flexible. You don't have to worry about them snapping or breaking. Stuff slides up over them. I think that's pretty cool. These little links on the bottom also flexible. Lowers or uppers in this case when you flip it around, right? It's got what appears to be kind of a a real looking drivetrain. Everything seems to be not very happily rotating, but it is rotating to some degree. Feel some drag. Everything works. I don't know. I don't know if I should take everything apart and look at everything. Probably. 
probably should. I just should really inspect every little detail of it and try and figure it out. There's the Gigantor spur gear and that big old plastic spur gear. I really don't know anything about it. It's used. It's off the classifieds on the RC Crawler forum. The man uh, sent exactly what he showed me and he sent it promptly. And he charged me a nice, re reasonable price for it, I feel. So I've got basically a nice gift for my daughter without having to break the bank. You know, it's been used. It's seen some, seen some action. And I'm sure it'll see plenty more. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. As I dive off the deep end of RC vehicular madness with scale going scale it's pretty crazy man oh yeah that's pretty crazy well, should be fun